Welcome to the Wednesday edition of the News at 6. How many times have you asked a salesman on your front doorstep to see their sales license? We begin tonight with a man in Meridian going to jail for soliciting without one. With painting, roofing, pest control salespeople from all over the region right now, we wondered how often police make door-to-door -door sales arrests. Our Shira Matsuzawa went out to find out. Shira? Mark, that arrest happened yesterday, and Meridian police say it was actually a citizen's arrest. Now, police tell me that citizen was an off-duty officer. They say a Boise man came to their door selling pest control. The off-duty officer asked if they had a license to sell, which is a requirement for solicitors in Boise, Meridian, and Nampa. That salesperson, though, said they did, but didn't have it on them. Then, after somewhat heated exchange between the off-duty officer and the solicitor, the solicitor then continued to try and sell his products to other neighbors. And that's when the off-duty officer called police and conducted a citizen's arrest. Now, I spoke with Meridian police earlier this afternoon and asked how often these types of arrests happen. As far as the citizen's arrest on something like a solicitor, not very often. Uh, we do arrest uh, solicitors uh, periodically in the city um, if they're not licensed. Usually it's because they're being pushy to people and they're they're causing uh, uh, problems with them and so we do uh, arrest them. Other times it's because they've been warned before and they know the rules yet they choose to come back to the city. So here are some, ty uh, some tips about what you need to know or look out for if someone comes to your door. First, make sure they have that city issued license. That's the most important thing because that means the solicitor has been checked out. If they don't have a license, contact police. Police say even if that person is legitimate, they want to know who is in their city and going door to door, so be sure to call them. Permits are also not required for religious groups or kids selling items for school. And if you don't want anyone coming to your door, invest in a no soliciting sign. Lastly, if you are interested in a product, take down the information and do some research yourself. Now, in case you're wondering, this crime is considered a misdemeanor. And if you see anything suspicious regarding a solicitor, or maybe you just want to verify a person's permit, you can, again, always contact police. Mark?